John Halo himself. He's... I love that people call the the Master Chief from the Halo TV show John Halo to differentiate himself, him from the Master Chief. Yeah, the that's a well, that's a different guy. Yeah. Um. Hey, Halo's pretty cool, and this attorney's gonna get a fucking needler. Oh hell yeah! I want to see Vianosuke Naruhoto in Slayer matches, uh, and see what he does. Anyway, Halo's cool. He doesn't afraid of anything. Uh, that's all I have to say on Halo. We're gonna play Ace Attorney. I'm oh, yeah. a little bit. I'm on some performance enhancers, so you know, <laughs> some herbal refreshment. Some herbal refreshment. Yeah. Um, green tea. Are you? Are you? Are you, are you locked in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whew. We made it back in one piece. Just. To be perfectly honest, I thought we were finished there for a while. Oh, I know. What a lot of close shaves. There are so many carriages on the streets of London. You were very nearly flattened several times. Damn. Page. Oh, no. I didn't mean that. Yes, I know. It was a marvelous defense, Naruhoto-san. It really was. I was in awe of you. I really wish she said I was making a marvelous joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um, thank you. And now that your fervent exploits have won us some more precious investigation time. Yeah! Yippee! <laughs> Let's see if we can't find some new clothes for court tomorrow. Hell yeah! Yes, let's do that. Wait, anti-weed great ace attorney post? Yeah, some, you some are... police precinct in, in Japan put up anti-weed posters that had eight great ace attorney characters on them. Sherlock, I Sherlock know, Holmes is in this game! <laughs> Noted cocaine user. Noted, co Noted cocaine Noted and cocaine. opium addict. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Wow. <laughs> Can you know someone those, post like, that? I need to see it. Yeah. But yeah, um, you know all those, like, drawings of Nickelodeon characters or Rick and Morty characters and they're just smoking weed? Yeah! yeah do that with Ace Dude, do that with Ryunosuke Naruhoto and Susano. Okay, I found it. Okay, Ryunosuke yeah. Ryunosuke would cough so hard. I think Mina got just it. Like, oh, baby. Put it, put it in Share Cool Stuff. Because that's, that's where okay. that goes. The only the coolest of stuff. Only the coolest of stuff. Yeah, look at this shit. Oh, it didn't automatically make... Oh, it didn't oh, embed. Oh, it's the JPEG large. J fuck no. you, JPEG large. J what a... Po what what a... JPEG. Pointless fucking... Uh, extension. I know. Well... Is that gonna oh, work? Let me, let me post a different one. Check it. Should we go back to it? Hold on. I need to, I Here, need to see this problem. weed propaganda. Oh, oh my god. It would be so funny if there was like more pictures of it. So you knew what it looked like, but it just looked like it was promoting it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just like an ad for the Great Ace Attorney. I would never. <clears throat> the Japanese police are like, hey, you know what's cool? This game that makes us look bad. <laughs> uh, they love Ace Attorney. Anyway. <laughs> let's play. Is everything alright? I need to tap back in. Oh no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy for that to happen. There we go. I suppose. I still can't quite believe it, that's all. That I'm here okay, and... Okay, I finally did it. You got it? I got it. No! <laughs> that doesn't even look... Yeah, that doesn't even look like anti-weed art. I mean, I guess if yeah, I could read well, Japanese... I can't read it. <laughs> I can, that sign so, won't stop me, because I can't I read. Can't read. <laughs> so the, the, top, the top says, uh, just say no, and the bottom says, hold it, marijuana steals your future. Whoa! Cool! And it... And then below that, it lists um, the potential penalties for being caught with cannabis. Uh, I have to show this. Uh, hold on. I have to put this on screen now. Yes. That goes That goes in the setup forever now. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go out of my way to v smoke more weed on stream. <laughs> there we go. That's there now. I'm just gonna put that here. Um. So apparently, it, it was part of a, a campaign that Capcom was commissioned for. Cause they also did anti-animal abuse posters cool. with Monster Hunter characters. Great. And anti-street crime posters with Street Fighter characters. That doesn't. But that okay, doesn't. So they're all. Oh wait. So what they're admitting they're here? Opposites. What they're admitting Which here means... is that Ryunosuke Naruto, Kazuma, <laughs> and Susano all smoke weed. They're yeah. cool. So much. Um, they wrap it up after the trial. What a what a great campaign! I love that. Uh, okay. That I'm here in England working as a lawyer. I mean, in the old Bailey, no less. Stares at you. <laughs> the truth is, it shouldn't be me, should it? It should be him standing in my shoes. It should be Kazuma. Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> it was Kazuma Sama's wish that you follow him to Great Britain and work alongside him. Yes. I mean, I never had the chance to ask him exactly why, but he clearly had a plan. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. You're doing wonderfully, Naruhoto san. Thank you. <laughs> I've no doubt that Kazuma Sama would say exactly the same if he were here with us. The difference in pronouns or honorifics says it all. Huh? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> it sure does. Naruhoto will never be a Sama. <laughs> Thank you, Susato san. Thank you. Susato should be Sama, though. After all she's done. After all she's done. <laughs> come on. It was quite a shock earlier today, wasn't it? When the victim himself turned up in court and took the stand. I know. Not only that, but then finding out that he is actually a barefaced gas thief as well. What a crook. Yes. It was certainly a surprise to us all. I can't believe people would steal gas in this situation where it absolutely fucking sucks that they don't have gas or heat in their house. Yeah. And this gas company is trying to nickel and dime them by putting a coin slot in their gas machine. Dang. That's horrible of that person. For a while, it seemed as though everyone had quite forgotten about Sasaki-san poisoning the tea. Careful of your phrasing, Susato-san. He didn't poison anything. And there's more to this Mr. Shamspear than we yet know. I'm sure of it. If that is his real name. <laughs> Mr. Shamspear certainly wasn't the noble, upstanding man everyone thought he was at first. What's become of him, actually? That's a... uh, I was told that he'd be returning to the hospital ward, where he was receiving treatment. Oh, which one is that? Let me check my little book. Let me see. Oh yes, he's at St. Bartholomew's, or Bart's as Londoners call it. We know that place, don't we? Yes, we visited Miss Green there yesterday. It's the same hospital to which she was taken. Oh, yes. After Sasaki-san stabbed her in the back. Do be careful of your phrasing, Naruhoto-san. He didn't stab anyone. Perhaps we both owe Sasaki-san an apology. St. Bartholomew's. Yes, we should probably visit the hospital later. What next? So, we know that Soseki-san took tea to the victim on the night in question. But as he isn't the culprit, then obviously... Yes, the poison surely wasn't in the tea. But if that's the case, how on earth did the poison get into Mr. Samspear's body? I'm sure we'll find a clue at the scene. There must be something in Mr. Samspear's room that will help solve the mystery. Well, naturally, Scotland Yard detectives have been over the place already, but it couldn't hurt us, hurt for us to have another look around, I think. Definitely. And I'm desperate to know the outcome of the investigation into the tea 
That's it. Into the tea. Into the tea. What's the tea? What is the tea, Ryuno? What is the tea? Are they fucking? We don't know. <laughs> well, if we wanted to Inspector Gregson, we could ask him about that. It's Kazuma Asogi, the best friend I ever had. And a lawyer with such promise. He really saved my bacon in that horrible incident just before we left Japan. Flashback. Not his bacon. I can still picture him now, looking so fierce and determined in court. Uh-huh. And then after the trial, that crazy idea he came up with. As a stowaway? Yes. You can fit inside my trunk if you curl up small enough, I'm sure. No one will know. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? Oh, I miss him so much. Kazuma, won't you tell me why? Why go to these lengths that I can accompany you to Great Britain? Well, it's been on my mind ever since we got through that trial. That you really ought to go into law. Be a defense lawyer. You've got natural talent for it. Believe me. I guarantee it. But I've never even thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, I can't force you, obviously. You'll have to decide for yourself. But anyway, London is the cultural capital of the world. The city at the forefront of everything. It can't hurt for you to see it with your own eyes. No, that's true. I suppose, though. If you were to become a lawyer, then one day... One day what? Oh, no. Never mind. Huh? What does that mean? Naruhodo-san? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about Kazuma. Yes. He's forever in my thoughts, too. Man, they were both so hot for him, huh? <laughs> Who wouldn't be? He was, he was her big brother, basically. Okay, oh, that's hot. fair. <laughs> don't, don't, make weird. don't make him weird <laughs> change the Japanese judicial system for the better that was his dream and that's why he so desperately wanted to come to Great Britain to study of course yes that's right but yes I do wonder if his true intentions lay elsewhere sometimes I don't know the thought just takes hold of me every now and then. That's all. Hmm. Naruhodo san, what do you mean by Kazuma sama's true intentions? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean this. Th this is Katana? so weird if to actually. American, it would be a gun. Yeah. <laughs> But it's so weird to see the protagonist's hands while we're in this perspective. I don't like it. Don't do this. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's enough if it's enough. Yeah, I know. It's just like they've never done this before, and it's weird. That's so true. I never expected to inherit the sword after Cosma passed away, of course. No, I know. It's because I asked you to take it. When I have it at my side in court, I feel as though it gives me courage. Yes. Actually, the night before he died, he told me a little about the sword. <gasps> Does the sword have a name? Yeah, it's uh, Karuma. Karuma! Which is the Von Karma family's last name in the Japanese ha! version of the original ha! trilogy. Ha! That's weird. It's one letter away from his name. That's that's weird. I don't know about that. Mina, that's you. Yeah, that's right. It's a prize sword that's been passed down through generations of the Ahsoki clan. I love how his headband blows. Even I know. There's no. There's no wind. A Japanese man's sword is his soul re escape. I can't be parted from my katana. Kairuma guides me. I truly believe that. You're crazy, man. 
So its name compels its wielder to slice evil into? Not that you would need much compelling. On that subject, there's something very important that I have to do in Great Britain. Something you have to do? Yes. I'd appreciate you seeing it through with me. Of, of course I will. Whatever it is, I'll see it through to the end with you. I'm in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down. What did he mean by something very important that I have to do? I had hoped that the answer to that question would become apparent when we arrived here, but... As yet, I have not found a single clue. I see. Hmm. Well, let's go investigate a case. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, should we go say? Uh, we should go say hi to Sholmes. If they're let's home. Say hi to that asshole. Iris's desk is really cute. I like her little I chair. Hi, Iris! <laughs> you have to say hello to her whenever she appears. Yeah. Hi, Iris. The law. The law. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Peppa Pig. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Susie. Oh, Bruno and Susie. Hooray, you're back. <laughs> it rotates. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Iris. You're in fine spirits as always, I see. I am. And you look as immaculately presented as ever, Susie. Oh, you flatter me. Well, you couldn't have come at a better time. I've just made a pot of tea. I'll set some cups. Hell yeah. Really? Thanks, Iris. But actually... What is that foul smell? It's oh, it's <laughs> oh, it's Herlock. <laughs> Aha! The Wanderers return at last. Where on earth have you, have you When's been? When's the last time you showered, Stinky? He needs to bathe. Um, we've been in court? Oh, we missed the moustaches case. That was today, was it? I'm sure I mentioned it only yesterday, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> His ADHD is far <laughs> too powerful. Yeah, no, same. It was no, I'm sure I think too. you did. <laughs> well, we can laugh about it now. Sure. So tell me, how did the trial go? Reasonably well so far. We've managed to escape without a guilty verdict, at least. Really? I would have liked to see it. Why? I must pass the time of day with Mr. Reaper again. It's been too long. Is Lord Van Zeeks an acquaintance, Mr. Sholmes? Naturally. There's not a person in the world who doesn't know my name, Mr. Narihodo. Right. Not quite what I asked, but still. <laughs> Way to dodge the oh question. Do you want to? Do you want to know? How, you know what's an amazing thought? What? Imagine this version of like her lectures in the same room as Lyos Toden. Oh my God! They would either kill each other or make out. <laughs> um. That'd be, that'd be so. Sholmes good. <laughs> could be could get. I could see Sholmes being super autistic about monsters. If monsters existed yeah. in the Great Ace Attorney, which they obviously oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Out of the Baskervilles, shut the fuck up. Yeah, what is what even is that? That's a dog? Cool. <laughs> it's a big dog. It's a big it's dog. dog. Stupid. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, whatever is that odor? Yes, what is it? It's faint, but absolutely awful. Ah, indeed. That's the scent of victory, my dear fellows. Victory in science. Don't like that. He was yurking it. Oh, dear. <laughs> yurking is turking. I was joking my penis, you see. <laughs> my penis! <laughs> All right, I'll bite. What's he up to now? Well, what's that? Oh, ooh. What's the tea? Give me the tea. Lord Barok Van Zeeks. Yes, it's an interesting uh, sober claim he, he has, isn't it? 
The Reaper of the Bailey. Is what does sobriquet mean? Probably like pseudonym. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I'm not. I'm not fancy enough for this. I. I I'm am running not. A novel. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> fancy enough to know what that French ass shit means. Okay, let's. Okay, let me let me know if you can hear this. Yeah. I cannot. Okay. Sobriquet. Oh, I could hear that. Sobriquet. 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 Yeah, it means a person's. It's a very fancy and pretentious way of saying nickname. <laughs> why would you say that rather than oh, because he's a dipshit? That's why. That right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. It was a style at the time. <laughs> Once the legendary prosecutor has fought for someone's conviction, that person is doomed. Even if they are found not guilty by the courts, sooner or later the hapless soul will vanish from the capital. But vanish? How exactly? Oh. Yeah. By falling <laughs> under a passing carriage or drowning in the Thames. I legitimately thought he was going to say by falling out of the world. <laughs> like it's a fucking TF2 map. Have you ever heard of the back rooms, Mr. <laughs> Chanel! I'm a frequent visitor myself. <laughs> of course, yeah, I know you are. Or succumbing to a sudden fever, or quite of the blue being set upon by our highwaymen. Uh -huh, you still got those? <laughs> They're still around? England England never sleeps, baby. There's always a highwayman around. Yeah, ready they're ready to cut your throat and take the shoes right off your feet. Fuck yeah. What? That's just Elon <laughs> Musk numerous... these days. <laughs> Did you see the the recent interview with him? No. Yeah. Or, or parts of it. He's he, such a little crybaby. He he finally got called racist to his face by someone who knows he's full of shit. Fuck yeah! Finally! The interviewer was so good at like just remaining calm and asking him questions. Good. Good yeah. shit. It took, a, it, it took a, as big a dipshit as Elon Musk to make Don Lemon look good. Ooh. Well, it would have to be someone, wouldn't it? <sighs> yeah. Hey, I mean, at least he was useful for this. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. There are numerous routes to one's final terminus, my dear fellow. It all seems a little far-fetched, really. Well, on the bright side, Mr. Mustache is fighting fit, for the time being at hey, least. Hey, what does that mean? That's not overly reassuring. If the rumors are true, though, the obvious conclusion would surely be that those acquitted are, well, by Lord Van Zeeks's own hand. As it happens, Mr. Sato, that is quite impossible. He has no hands. <laughs> oh? Why? Naturally, the man very quickly came under such suspicion. However, whenever these incidents occurred, the Reaper always has, always has a cast iron alibi. R really? And so his reign continued. But five years ago, he vanished from the courts. Never to appear as a prosecutor again. That is, until you arrived in the country, Mr. Narodo. Sucks for you. Yes, so I've heard. In fact, it was the very day I arrived when I was thrust into that trial at the Old Bailey. That bitter fight to the death coincided with the Reaper's resurrection. Wow. And really did end bitterly indeed. And yet here you are, facing Mr. Reaper again. I'm just thinking that Van Zeeks was so racist he came out of retirement once he heard a, a Japanese lawyer. Literally, though. Like, for real. What a hater. What a hater. What a hater, I mean racist. Natural, natural-born hater. His big naturals. <laughs> Shut <I> up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bruno. I don't, I don't know if you're just incredibly unlucky. Or incredibly unlikely. Wow! Thanks, Iris! <laughs> we love when kids are brutally just honest. Brutally. <laughs> I, I think it goes deeper than just me. I sense a general loathing. Almost like some kind of systemic issue. <laughs> Do they have the word racism yet? No. Of all Japanese people, he's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that! You can't do that! Oh my god. 
So, what is that indescribably foul smell? Ah, well, that was probably this, I would say. It's the T-Virus! <laughs> what is that? Shield potion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a shield potion. It's a small it's shield. A small, it'll only small get you to. Potion, it'll only get you to fifty shield, though. My dear fellow, it is of course my latest invention. Have you ever heard of Fortnite, Mister? I have. You mean like two weeks? <laughs> it's been. Shut. <laughs> no, it hasn't been two weeks. <laughs> A chemical test that can identify whether or not the tea is genuine at the drop of some tea. No. What? Oh. What? A case. Oh. Oh my. There are some unscrupulous swords manning the stalls along some of London's less frequented streets. They regularly sell what purports to be high quality tea, but is in fact merely dyed leaves of drab flavor. Well, that seems, like, that seems like a lot of effort to trick people. Well, I mean, how much is it to just buy some, like, green food dye? Like... I don't know how much dye costs back, back yeah, then. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, obviously they're not like, ooh, we got a fancy purple leaf here for your tea, sir. Because that dye is really <laughs> expensive. Um... I think, yeah, other colors should be normal. That doesn't seem like a lot oh, of mate. effort. That's a cheap Got grift. Blue tea leaves turn your tea into slurp juice. <laughs> well, also, they probably just stole the dye, also. That's also very true. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's certainly unsavory behavior. So, when one is presented with what appears to be black tea, one must be careful. Iris. At the ready, Hurley. Science, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were everything is the same, but Iris talks like Josie. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I would love that. I should just do that voice. Let us add a drop of my chemical to this cup of tea here. You see what happens. FK in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned completely black. What a foul odor it's giving off. Indeed. The blacker the tea becomes and the more foul the odor, the better the tea is. So you just found a way uh, to ruin tea. <laughs> it would appear that this cup was a particularly fine Darjeeling. That's uh, you can't drink it. very ingenious. But what do you do with that black liquid now? Oh, I leave it out. <laughs> well, I dispose of it naturally. Surely you wouldn't like to drink his, would you? No, never. There does seem to be a rather obvious problem with your new invention, Mr. Sholmes. Hence why this chemical test is merely a test, my dear madam. Right. The point is, we are entering a new era of science. In the world of criminal investigation, also. <gasps> Yes, forensic science. Oh, there are such exciting times. Oh, I miss her. Emma? Yeah, this just makes me think of Emma, and I miss her. And her snacking. <laughs> Relatable. I regularly engage in this scientific experimentation alongside my unofficial consulting detective work. The Herlock Sholmes method will be the foundation upon which modern investigation technique is based. I I just I just want the method. Uh, what? I said for you, Nosuke. Do you want the method? No. <laughs> um, I just I just thought, uh, the moment they started talking about forensic science, I literally had a I should call her moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, despite everything, I want to replay Apologize. Yeah, God, yeah, I miss her. I love her. This little tea in indicant was a happy byproduct of my ongoing forensic science research. Forensic science? I suppose I should find out more about that. That's some new hip craze that everybody is talking about. 
Okay, we'll skip Japanese people for now and go to forensic science. <laughs> I don't want to hear your opinion on the races. <laughs> <laughs> so, your T test, is that an example of forensic science? Indeed it is. Oh, wrong button. An essential tool in cases that hinge on the knowledge of whether or not some tea is of high or inferior quality. You get a lot of cases like that? Um, yeah. Not a huge number of cases then. <laughs> the amount of times you were on the exact same yeah. as Reno's case. Yeah, so I am Reno'sky Naruhoto. He's been melded into my consciousness. <laughs> he's your Dougie Jones. Yeah, he's my Yeah, he's my Dougie Jones. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Perhaps a more practical example is required. Fingerprints? Not yet accepted in our court as evidence, I might add. Really, we are dragging our heels there. Oh boy, don't I don't I know it. <laughs> I hadn't even heard of them until recently. Which is partly why I undertake research research in this field myself, of course. Does that mean you're studying fingerprints, Mr. Sholmes? I like how you said fingerprints like it was a key item. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fingerprints. You say you said it. You said it like one would say, like the A button. Yeah, press the A button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are others in that field already, and I abhor the company of inferior minds. Wow. Fuck those guys. Fuck those you know, stupid what I'm bitches. Is skin prints? What? Uh Skin prints? You must free your skin, Naruhodo. No, I don't want to. Oh, he wow, he's got estrogen. <laughs> a nomenclature of my own design, as is this chemical agent that makes it possible. I call it Pipeline Punch. Fuck yeah! <laughs> it instantly reveals objects touched by whichever person is under investigation. Whoa, that sounds really helpful, oh, actually. Yeah. Brilliant, Mr. Sholmes. As long as it doesn't turn everything completely odorous and black. I assure you, my dear fellows, you will witness my forensic talents in action every very soon indeed. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about race. With Mr. Natsume, who I'm currently defending, being Japanese as well as Mr. S Miss, Miss Susado and myself, and myself, sorry, I almost outed Susado there. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it even more keenly in court today. For some reason, Lord Van Zeek seems to have an inherent disdain for, of the Japanese. Indeed. It is an interesting observation. It sure is. <laughs> oh, man. Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's good continuity. <laughs> She's Emma Skying right now. Oh, Eating her snackoos. Eating her snackoos. Uh, <laughs> what? Are you dying? You know no, I'm fine. Do you know something about it? Do you, Mr. Sholmes? Do you? Do you? No. It was about ten years ago that Barak Van Zeek chose to enter the legal profession. You know, it's kind of dawning on me that Sholmes looks like Date. <laughs> oh no. He looks very much like Date. <laughs> I mean, that explains why I like both of them. Yeah, I think that tracks. <sighs> However, before that time, the young man's closest companion hailed from the Empire <gasps> of Japan. There was a time where he wasn't racist! When he had one Japanese friend. Whoa! Oh. What the? Tell us more, Mr. Sholmes. What happened? I believe I've made it clear before. I'm unable to tell you anything about the affair. The Hound of Baskerville! Oh, but... The veil will be lifted on the events of the past in due course, I have no doubt. For now, however, it is Mr. Mustache who is most deserving of your attention, I believe. You're right. I guess. I suppose. Well, I think we should go back to the scene and see if we can uncover any new clues. That's the spirit, Bruno. 
See you later. They're posing together. <laughs> yes, until later. Family. No, no, Mr. Shums. We were thinking you'd come with us. You were? Yes, of course. You said so just a moment ago. You said we witnessed your forensic talents in action. Ah, yes, I do recall saying something along those lines. But you go on ahead. I shall be sure to follow you later. In all likelihood. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> well, I might. <laughs> your commitment astounds me. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Sholmes. We'll eagerly await your arrival. Well, now you don't want to disappoint Susato. Exactly. Bye-bye, Runo. Bye, Susie. Bye, Iris. <laughs> Goodbye, Iris. <laughs> I wish you, I kind of wish you were in the game more. <laughs> Where's Gina? Um, this is... Oh, this is before. This is, yeah, five. right. So she's she's off doing urchin things, uh, trying to find um, uh, McGillard's coat so that she can take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot that we were in the past. Well, more in the past. What do you suppose is happening? It sounds like some sort of disturbance. Yes, I hear angry voices. Mom and Dad. Oh, they know each oh, other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <what>? oh wow <laughs> be not angry oh ample lady verily thou art mistaken mistaken my foot you were looking you were looking at my painting the eye of man hath not heard <laughs> the ear of man hath bro not you seen. fucked it up was foul indeed, the poison the moustache villain giveth me. Forgive me, lady. I wish that you died from that poison. Wow! <laughs> Not a mercy, ample lady, <laughs> but thou seest I have vigor still. Oh, he's rock hard! <laughs> he's like, Behold my Shamspear dance. <laughs> he sees a, B a BBW and doesn't fucking know how to act. <laughs> This looks rather ominous, doesn't it? Hey! What are you doing, freak? <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, lo. Tis the lawyer from the land where, whence riseth the sun. How now? How now, brown cow? <laughs> um, what are you doing here, Mr. Shamspear? Mary, I do believe I am returning unto another ward. I love the way she holds the palette and the paintbrush like a sword. Yeah, and that's really out. good. She's a warrior. Yeah. I'll fuck you up. What a good character. What a great character. He's looking. That's what he was doing. Looking at my terrible work. Eastern fellow, so dark he clad. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is challenging. <laughs> Faith, thy work in court this morning was wonderful. I do applaud thee. You do? Oh, well, thank you. We should kill him with hammers. What? <laughs> but. Oh. That doesn't mean things will go so wonderfully for you tomorrow, does it? Well. <laughs> it's made of plastic. <laughs> Anon exit. People of the chat, please let me know if my voice for him is too grating. I will, I will find a new one. <laughs> Mina, you should have heard the voice I did for Flavio in the Thousand Year Door. I literally did lemon grab for several hours. I think <laughs> I think you're fine. Mr. Shamspear might technically be the victim in this case, but there's definitely a lot more to it than that. It's very hard to pin the man down. He's slippery like a weasel. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm such an awful person. Ah! Miss Green, is everything alright? Oh, 
Yes. I mean, don't worry about me. Okay. They're about to discharge me, so I must get ready to leave now. Oh, I see. Rotates her. <laughs> <laughs> We're delighted that you'll soon be well enough to go home, Miss Green. Oh dear, you're too kind. I I don't deserve it. Well, she's so little. How are you so small? Rat. Rat, oh, rat, rat, shit. rat. We've, rat. we've seen this already. <laughs> he makes all the rules. Well, I don't know if there's anything new for us to look at here. Aside from her. Hi. So, are you feeling more like yourself today, Miss Green? I am. Thank you. I mean, people do recover from ordeals like this, don't they? Even people like me. Well, I yes. Love, I love the voice you do for her. It's really good, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> it really was I an like ordeal, her. wasn't it? I like her, too. She's very cute. Yeah. As far as I was concerned, I was just walking along on the snow one evening, minding my own business. And then, completely out of the blue, I was struck in the back by a knife and collapsed unconscious for days. Of course, when I finally woke up again yesterday, the whole business had been cleared up already. What a terrible week it's been for you. Oh no, I'm sure I'm very lucky, really. I'll look back on this. You one. will? <laughs> will you? Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I must be getting my things together now, so I'm ready to be discharged. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry to take up your time when you're obviously b busy. Bye. I'm sure you won't come up again. It's weird that this character exists for this case as a side thing. Right? Hmm. She has to be involved somehow later. Right? But I don't know how. It's a very cool example of... I think this is the only time that a victim of a case has come back in a later case. Yeah. And unless, it, you count, unless you count Mia, of course. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Mia does... No, I don't think Mia counts. Because Mia's like... Mia's the protagonist of the original trilogy, honestly. Like, yeah. even if she's dead, that's her story. It yeah, it is, it is the story of her unfinished family business. Yeah, um... It's funny that she dies in, like, the first fucking case and she's the protagonist of the entire trilogy. That's That whips. Good for her. Her ghost haunts the narrative. <laughs> her huge titty ghost. Her huge titted ghost. <laughs> oh! Hello again, Inspector Gregson. What are you doing here? Um, well, we were hoping to have another look around, actually. The lawyer representing the defendant has a right to examine the scene, as I'm sure you're aware. Yeah, I know the score. Oh, yes, one other thing. The soap on the ledge outside the window. Did you find it? With the tea in it. What's the tea? What's the tea, Gregson? Yeah, we found it, all right. And there's a small amount of tea in it, as you said. I knew it. It's with the identification section at the yard now. They're looking into it. The results should be available later today. That's wonderful news. Thank you. Pretty impressive performance in court this morning. Sorry? Nothing. Forget it. Just make sure you don't disturb anything in here. All right. Sounds so. He's a. F what? Shomes? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing to that mannequin? Gregson is a fan, I see. Are you looking for new clues, Inspector? Oh, uh, Lord Van Zeek's orders, yeah. Don't come back till you've got something for me, he says. Tch. Oh, so this is like literally Edgeworth and Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, poor you. 
Yeah, poor me. Because we've already searched every bleeding nook and cranny in this place. I don't know what he expects, to be honest. Thank goodness for warm chips is all I can say. Well, at least he's honest. He uses Van Seek's money to buy chips. Yeah! <laughs> uh, is there anything for, I would too. Is there anything new for us to actually look at? Oh, well, we'll look at that. Uh, I don't know if this is new. Yeah. That's nothing important. Wait, I thought he ripped the box off the wall. Did he put it back? Or is this a different one? I think he put it back. I think they put it back, yeah. Can I look at this yet? No? Okay. Hey, Shomes, what's up? How's it going? He's squeezing the boobies on that. Yeah, thing. I don't know what he's doing. Mr. Sholmes, what are you up to over there? What a question indeed. Was it not to a good self? Who asked me to attend Mother the scene? Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oi, what are you doing here, Sholmes? What are you up to over there? What are you doing here? Dear me, once a great detective, one is always under scrutiny, it seems. <laughs> Zelkast, you have a mouthful. I I heard her reach snack in. Who, snack who break. <laughs> They're like Edgeworth and Gumshoe, except they don't like each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. I thought Shobus was gonna be like, always, oh, what are you doing? What are you like and not how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Is now the time, Mr. Shomes? <clears throat> are you about to show us? Your forensic talents in action, as you promised? She's so excited. With the greatest of pleasure, my dear madam. Alright. Which... Okay, you look stupid now. <laughs> um, what's all this? What's all this, then? What's all this, then? <laughs> all this is precisely what you requested, Miss Onarahodo. Herlock Sholmes sensational skin print seeker gun. Why does it have to be a gun? <laughs> Everything that he and Iris invent is, is in gun form. For <laughs> That's some really funny. Moments ago, I took a sample from the teacup that was used by the victim. A sample? From Mr. Shamspear's cup? Each individual leaves microscopic uh, secretions on everything he, he touches. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> a sample of those secretions is all I need to produce this. Oh, no. Refined indicative solution. So, uh, sorry, a Mimi dab is Hi. happening. A what? A, a, Mimi, a dab. Mimi dab. Don't worry about it. You'll know soon enough. You'll know. By liberally spraying the room with this chemical, everything the victim touched is instantly revealed with the aid of these goggles. Googles. Googles. Here, try them out. Oh, it's... Oh, I see. Yeah. Now spray the chemical indicator about and all will be revealed. Oh my god, it's like it's a... It's a harmless chemical. Man, right? it's, like, it's like I'm playing Apollo Justice. <laughs> spray? How... How do I do that exactly? Press the A little button. little press of the <laughs> A button on the area you're interested in is all that's required. Like this. <gasps> oh! What is that stuff? It's like fog. Suspension of the chemical indicator on the pressurized gas. It's the most efficient way to cover a large area. That was another invention I discovered in incidentally whilst I was discovering this idea. As you do. Go ahead. Try it, my dear fellow. We may learn something interesting about the victim's movements from the nights in question. Well, there's nothing to lose, I suppose. Let's explore. Okay. You chucked a penis? Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, they actually fixed it from Apollo Justice. So it actually does a huge area. Look! There are dozens of handprints here. So there are. A great many indeed. So much so that it's hard to make out any one individual print, in fact. There's a hole down there, too. I hate that. <laughs> 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 He was, uh, <laughs> was, was up all night shaking his spear. <laughs> he sham his spear. No. I know, I'm gonna say it. We were laughing. Oh, 
It sends a chill down my spine. Perhaps he was leaning against the wall while he admired this picture. His vision's so bad. Yeah, unlikely, I would say. It's a rather dull scene. Wow, hey man! <laughs> Shit painting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And then, without wishing to state the obvious... Looks a bit shit. You wouldn't generally admire a picture from such close quarters. Well, what if you want to see each brushstroke, Susato? Huh? Oh, very true, Mr. Susato. It's a bit of a mystery, then. Um, uh, yep. That's the point of the game, Ryanosuke. Did you know? <laughs> I'm gonna get his ball prints in this. <laughs> Well, obviously, there's prints on that. Shoms, show me a picture of this guy's balls. Shoms, show me Fortnite milfs. <laughs> you know, Ske, I am not doing that. <laughs> okay. Well, is that everything? It's like, it's like all Kesti's favorite. Um, yeah, the Sony and Final it's, it's so good. <laughs> I was like, I am not doing that. I am that. not doing that. <laughs> Am I missing something? Maybe the bricks. Oh, the bix. The bix. The bix. The wee the bix. Wee the bix. Everybody's favorite food. <laughs> I don't think we've determined what wee the bix is yet. What? Yeah, I know. What about the glory hole? Was it a sign? Was it a site of great tragedy? Maybe the box. <laughs> the box. I did that already. No, the the one under the painting. The box. The box. The box. You opened it. Oh. <laughs> and I came. <laughs> uh. Oh, look down there. Oh, no, never mind. Um, can I leave? Can you go under the table, maybe? Ah! Oh, there we go. Oh, look at all this here. Ah, uh, yes. Interesting. A multitude of the victim's handprints. Oh, yes. Why are there so many of them on the floor in this one spot? Ooh, perhaps he had a bad fall just here. There's nothing obvious that he would have just tripped over, though, is he? Oh, fuck, what is the fuck? Is there? <laughs> could not read. Hmm, I wonder. Personally, I often stumble whenever there's nothing obvious to trip over. Yeah, okay. I think that's something only a great detective would do, Mr. Shoops. Well, this is quite a puzzle. Handprints all over the floor. Yes, there's no obvious explanation. Is it loose? Is it a loose board? Well, we sprayed Mr. Shoops' amazing skin print indicator all over this room, didn't we? We did, but there are two places in particular that are in of interest, I would say. Yes, that is a loose board. <laughs> wow, that's really obvious. The handprints on the floor there and on the wall by the picture, you mean? Yes, and I think the floor warrants closer investigation. I won't be a moment. That floor might as well be on an animation cell in a cartoon in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Laura Sato. Oh. What is it, Mr. Sato? They were doing back shots down here. <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> Look here, Mr. Naruhoto. One of the floorboards has popped out. One of the. You mean. It's a secret hiding place? That's where he keeps all his soap. <laughs> Excellent work, Mr. Sato. So, what do we have in here? Oi! What are you lot doing? Inspector Gregson! Stand aside right this minute! It's my job to investigate there! 
All right, eat your chips. <laughs> and Look how big Rus he is. He is going to town. Eat big Champa. Get two bites, then respawns it. Chomp, <laughs> chomp. Oh. Infinite chomp. oh. <laughs> he, he's like the it's like that Tumblr infinite chocolate thing. So yeah, it's yeah, no. it's true. This is how you have infinite <laughs> fish and chip. Exactly. No need, Inspector. You continue to dig to your portion of <laughs> dig into your portion of chips whilst we dig around the floor, under the floor here. Your fancy dog's putting me off my food anyway, Sholmes. A new bit of evidence is exactly what I need. Well, I'll kill you. <laughs> wow, a secret hiding place under the floor. What a find. There's a heart down there. Shut no. It's not a hiding place you can make use of in Japan. I don't think I could lift a straw touch on me, Matt. Oh yeah, they don't have basements. No, I know. But I never expected one of these wooden floorboards to move either. It's got me wondering about the wall over there, too. Aren't you curious? Oh. I'll investigate it once. Why can't I? She's standing on it. She's so short. There's nothing behind the picture, sadly. Only the wall. But... But what? Why are all those handprints there? <laughs> hmm. How disappointing. But You're then... Doing back shots over here, too! <laughs> no! That's, that's why all the handprints are there. That's not... Wait, that's not sweat! <laughs> <laughs> But then, how do you explain the handprints? I really can't think why anyone would have been touching the wall over and over in one place like that. Oh, he, he has, uh... <laughs> OCD. <gasps> what? Huh? Picture. There you are. A print for you. A print for you? Oh, thanks. Sorry. Sorry. I, did I just completely glaze? Okay, I thought it was a skin seeker gun. <laughs> that doesn't seem good. Seeks your skin. <laughs> Seeks all of your skin. Oh, thank you very much. His invention can make prints, too? Now then. Uh, I wonder if Inspector Gregson has found anything under the floor there. I'm desperate to know. So am I. Gregson, how's it going over there? You're not moving. Gregson, buddy, you okay? You okay? Are you are you are you, are you stuck in the frozen time? I'd love to know if there's anything hidden underneath that, underneath that floorboard there. Well, you outnumber him. So. Yeah, we can beat him up. <laughs> Allow me to ask Gregson now. After all, we're well acquainted. Yeah, you're like besties, right? <laughs> Inspector Gregson, really, it's been too long. What is it, Sholmes? Uh -huh. I thought perhaps you might show me what you found there. Seeing as we're such good friends. <coughs> we're not friends. No, I suppose not. Wow, oh, oh no! <laughs> you made him cry. A dismal failure. <laughs> yes, I heard. Ugh, I'd kill the know what was under that floorboard. Ask him, you dipshit! <laughs> kill him. You have a sword! Alright then, fair is fair. What? You did discover the hiding place, after all. I suppose I should at least fill you in. What? Oh, oh, okay. Really, Inspector? Thank you. Do it quickly, my dear fellow. If there's one thing I know about this man, it's that he blows with the wind, as fickle as the weather. Oi! Stop making me out to be some kind of nut! There were three items under the floor there. A newspaper clipping, a photographic print, and a tin box. Now, what do you want to know? 
Uh, uh, ooh. Looks like this was cut out of the paper about three months ago. It's about a convict who got sick and died while he was serving time up in Manchester. How terrible. It made the headlines down here in London as well. The bloke had been sentenced to death, you see, but nature got him first. Oh my goodness. He committed a capital offense? Man by the name of Selden. Nasty piece of work in the burglaries and murders. Selden. Wow, th that name's got to be a pun. He's nuts. Selden's... No, it's just from one of the Holmes stories. Selden, he's nuts. <laughs> that was terrible. That one's, that one's really good. That's what you do on OnlyFans, right? <laughs> <laughs> they say the horde, the horde they eat knocked off was worth about a thousand pounds. A horde of treasure, you mean? Jewelry and the like, but he didn't it somewhere, and no one knows where. And now he's dead. Is that there's a buried treasure in this video game? The papers loved it, of course. A thousand pounds lost on route to hell, or some such was the headline. Yeah, it's like, or some shit like that. Wow, or a thousand pounds. That's really heavy. <laughs> Does not strike you, though. <laughs> it was all in one piece. Why is such an article would be so carefully ensconced under the floor? <clears throat> I suppose now you mention it, it does seem a bit odd. Perhaps I'll go over the paperwork I've got on Selden back of the yard and see if I can turn anything up. Cool. Can I see the guy? Can I actually look at the newspaper clipping? Nope. Cool. I think that it might have added him to the characters. Uh, people... No! Oh, no, I God, I forgot about Quinby. She's so hot. She yeah. is. Um... Milf vibes. Manchester Strangeways Prison announced the death of convicted murderer and burglar Selden by natural causes in the early hours this morning. He had been suffering with fever since the end of October. Alter alerted by the shouts of his fellow cellmate, medical staff arrived to find him already dead before his capital punishment could be carried out. Hmm. How is that relevant? So, this is the photograph I found. Looks reasonably recent to me. Wait, what? Well, that's weird. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Fine. Yes, it would appear to have been taken on the street in front of the house here. The gentleman on the left is Mr. Garadab, the landlord, of course. But who's the young man on the right? Mr. Garadab's son, perhaps? We've seen a photo of that guy before. Where was it? It was in uh, Miss Green's room at the hospital she had a picture of him huh and i made a joke that it was her pre-transition oh right yeah yeah perhaps you can take that print if you like really are you sure we can presume therefore that the yard already knows the identity of this young fellow that is ah is that true can you tell me? Hmm. Well, it's too bad if we do. Unfortunately for you, Lot, leaking information isn't one of my pastimes. Right, like, that's not your... Do like, you're not doing that right now, right? Uh, dear Inspector, if I may be so bold as to point something out. Pastimes are for one's leisure, but this is for work. He's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All the more reason I'm not telling you. <laughs> A dismal failure. Good job, Sholmes. You sure got him. Yes, I heard. Hmm. Who is that young man? I wonder why a photograph like this was hidden under the floor. I mean, Mr. Shamspear himself is in it. Photographic prints are still rare treasures in the East End. I imagine Mr. Garrett was rather delighted to have been immortalized. He'd probably made a proud present of it. Hmm. 
Now this tin box looks interesting, don't, 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 don't it? He wouldn't say doesn't it. Don't it? He would say don't it. Come on, <laughs> localization. Get your act together. <laughs> Might I suggest, Inspector, that you open it? I freeze the scarab. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to find something inside that, inside that reveals the truth behind this case, I wouldn't be the least surprised. Yeah, funnily enough, I've already had a look. It's completely empty. What? Shamespear, give us a clue, man. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. He didn't even have the chance to utter a word, Mr. Naruhodo. <laughs> but anyway, at least we found out what's inside the box. Have we? Yes, thin air. It's empty, rather like how I feel inside. Okay. <laughs> cool, me and Hosuke's dissociating right now. Is there nothing more to this box, then? I wonder. We gotta spray it with the gun. Oh, <gasps> gun. Oh! Tiny! Baby. It's a baby! Look at that little guy! Yes! What a fine little gentleman. Oh, look! It's that lovely little kitty cat. What was its name? It's Mr. Natsume's, isn't it? I don't think we ever asked him, actually. Why don't we call it, um... Wagahai? You know, like Mr. Natsume refers to himself in Japanese. I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well then, Wagahai, here's something delicious I brought. For you from the cat's meat man. From the, the cat's, cat's from meat the man. Cat's meat man. <laughs> The cat's, meat, the cat's man. meat, man. That's that's such a that's like the bee's knees. I gotta use that. Yeah. That's the cat's meat, man. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck it up. I gotta put doom music over this. Yeah. Sleeping. <laughs> he couldn't be happier now. Look. I just hope we can bring some happiness to his owner too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right. <gasps> look at the look! Look! Can oh! we make him biscuits? <laughs> oh, my God. I love this cat. We love cat. Yes. Oh, it's got a bow tie. It's a little bow tie. It's so fancy. Little gentleman. That was a cheeky little meow, Waga High. Cheeky. <laughs> cheeky little guy. Oh, but he's so adorable. I could sit and watch him forever. I think he may not appreciate that after a while. And we have an investigation to get back to. Are we done here? What about the hole? Show hole. The hole's gotta be something. <laughs> Maybe he's just poor. Have you considered that? He could, Maybe his house is just shit. He could just be poor, but like, well, there's nothing behind it. Well, is the painting fancy then? Hmm. Yeah, we know. Oh, yeah, cool. I, I so feel for the wealthy who don't have loose change. <laughs> ah, the pee puddle. Piss puddle. Look how dark the stain on the floor is underneath the meter there. Yes, from all the water dripping out after the ice coins melted, as you established in court this morning. It's a very large and obvious stain, isn't it? Mr. Shams here must have used an awful lot of ice coins, I suppose. It was an ingenious idea, I'll give him that. He's a genius. Uh, okay, I guess we're done here. Or, can I look at the soap? Soap. Soap. So it turns out that Mr. Shams here wasn't eating the soap at all. Yep. Hooray! Hooray! That's right. The mystery of why he had it on a plate whilst holding a fork in his hand is solved. Yes. Prize his latest co ice coin out of its mold. And in the process, he accidentally broke the bar of soap in two. It certainly was hard to imagine, let alone deduce. Alright, we're done here. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Good night. Bye!
Uh, I don't think we need to go there. I don't know if we have anything to talk to Mr. Garadab about. Oh, the photo! 